Good morning, everybody. This is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We are out here this morning. <laughs> Guys, we got two and three-eighths inches of rain in like 45 minutes. And with the weather like it is, the grand solar minimum, nothing is like it used to be. We can't just have normal weather. This downpour, we had tornado warnings everywhere. Luckily, here at Deep South Homestead, we didn't have anything. We had some rotation nearby. We kept getting warnings going off, but um, nothing here. Didn't blow down anything. But I want to show y'all what it did do here at the homestead, and it made us have to change all of our plans today. Okay, look at here, guys. See what happens when it does rain like that? You see this right here? That's our potatoes. They're sticking out of the ground. Look up under here. All of our fingerling potatoes all down these rows. See here? Washed them out of the ground. Sun's already starting to turn them green. Uh, evidently the rain we had the other day must have uncovered some we wasn't aware of. Right here. See, that one's completely out of the ground. If we want to be able to have anything here, look at this. They're out of the ground, showing everywhere. All down through here. We were going to leave them and let them get as big as possible. Now, these over here, we're planted several weeks later. Uh, doesn't seem like it's bothering us. These were our first ones that we planted. These were the Russian white fingerlings we bought off of Amazon. We planted them. We were hoping that we would let them get really big like they were when we bought them. But guys, the rain came and washed all the dirt off of them. So it's impossible to heal them up now because the plants are all laying out in the rows and stuff. It'd just be too much. So we're having to go through now. Our plants aren't even dead. It's kind of aggravating to us. We look in here. This is what we got. They're truly fingerling potatoes. They're tiny, but you know what? We're going to eat them anyway. We're going to can them. We're going to put them up. We're going to hold our head up and say, you know what? We're doing the best we can do through the grand solar minimum and with the weird weather anomalies that we're having. Now we're going to go ahead and keep digging. I'll show you here. Let me see if I can get this pitchfork here. Let's dig up under one of them here. Let's stick this thing here. Let me prize this thing up. Let's take a look and see. Kind of give you an idea about what it, oh, they're stuck under there pretty good. Let's see if we can't get this thing here where you can. This is what we're looking at right here. Get one out of there. Get these laid right here. This is what the plants look like. The potatoes are about that size compared to my hand. They're about like that. Now they're not real little. They're probably an inch and a half long and an inch in diameter a lot of them, which is okay. You know, that's not too bad. Like a small chicken egg, I guess you might say. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't dig the rest of these two rows, get these harvested. Ms. Wanda's inside canning, so I'm gonna be out here by myself. Probably won't be much videoing other than this. Maybe showing you a little bit at the end about uh, what we harvested. You can see that? Get them up closer to the camera. We can get a better look at them. Guys, it's food and it's edible. So there, <laughs> we're just happy to have what we have. We're thanking the Lord for it that we actually this morning, I came down to... Uh, open the gate to let the cows in the back pasture because at night we shut them out because we got one fixing to have a baby and we don't want her off in that back pasture at night having a baby and i happened to walk by and just look because that's my morning chore is to walk by and look and when i did i saw these potatoes and i was like well that changes all the plans today because i was going to be building the front for the vanity in our cabin so that's not going to happen now food is king so we're going to be harvesting our potatoes today, guys. So hang with me. Let me get some of these dug, and we may stop periodically and look and just see what we've got. Guys, this is what I like to see when I take a plant up out of the ground. Look at this. This is nice. Look at that. That's what you want to see right there. You want to see a plant that's got a good... See, it's still got the solid potato on it that we planted. But you want to see these good fingerlings on there. I mean, that's a... These are nice size. These are good two and a half, 
inches long probably nice good size to them beautiful potatoes for canning they fit in the jars perfectly they already got a buttery taste to them when you eat them really good we're going to continue to dig we hadn't went but about five foot here found this nice plant and i said hey let me just let y'all look at this thing Okay, guys, I was beginning to question whether I made a wise decision about planting these up on beds or not instead of putting them down level with the ground because of how wet it was. I figured it was going to be this year. I'm kind of glad I did because, see, when I dig this, we got two and three-eighths inches of rain less than an hour ago. I can pull these up out of the ground, and look, it's not even, they're not boggy. They're not wet, nothing like this. They're doing really good. Look at this. Nice potatoes. The ground, I want to show you what the ground is like here. I plant them up on top of these beds, and I'm talking about probably an hour and a half ago, we got two and three-eighths inches of rain, and I can look at this dirt. Look at this potato, first of all. Look at that. Whoa, that's nice. But look at this dirt. I think I made a wise decision by putting these potatoes up on top of a bed. The dirt... Even though we got two and three-eighths inches of rain, look at that. It still sifts through my hands. Now, it's damp and it's wet, but when I do it like this and let go of it, I can just roll it. See how it just it crumbles up? So, guys, I think I made a wise decision by putting them up on a bed. I can do that and see that? The dirt just falls all back apart. So that was a wise decision, I think, to make that call. I will probably do it again in the early spring because of just what I see happening here. Now, there's some more there. I got to get them off, but thought I'd mention that as I was digging along here. I noticed the ground is not really that wet up high. Had the potatoes not been uncovered, I probably would have just left them, but it would be an awful lot of work for me to go get dirt from somewhere, bring it in here, recover them. Uh, they're, they're plenty large enough. I mean, you know, you look at that. That's plenty big for a fingerling potato for us. So I think it's time we just go ahead and get the rest of them on out. Okay, guys, we've got one whole row dug. These rows are about 40 feet long. They're not very long, as you can see, and this is what we ended up with. Look at this. Three quarters of a five gallon bucket full of fingerlings. If I can get that much off of this other row right here, that one last row, Wanda and I will have enough fingerling potatoes just off of these two rows to put up a lot of jars. So. We're looking forward to it, guys. I gotta get back busy. The sun's gonna pop out on me here in a minute. Okay, guys, we uh, got the second row dug. We probably got maybe an inch more in this bucket than we do in this one. 
But nevertheless, we got almost two five-gallon bucket pools of fingerling potatoes. Now, we have a few of them that's got the green on the end of them there. We'll save these for seed potatoes. But all in all, we're going to spread them out in the dining room on top of a sheet or something. Let them dry out good and let them cure. Time to start canning potatoes, guys. Who'd have thought by April the 23rd, we'd be canning potatoes? That's a first for us, I believe. So, we have other videos about canning potatoes. You can go check them out. They'll be in the playlist up above. Um, remember, hover over the top with the icon will pop up and you'll find the playlist. Okay, so guys, sometimes on the homestead, your day don't always go like you planned. We wasn't planning on harvesting. Now we've got two vacant rows in the garden, but you know what? That's a good thing because we have tons of sweet potato draws left over. We've got like 400 planted. We need more than that. One and I was wondering, where are we going to put them at? Well, guess what? Now we have room to go till up a spot and put some more sweet potato draws out. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.